I'm sitting in our lovely greenhouse at Perch Hill and it's just jam-packed full of tomatoes at the moment. You can see there's this sort of great harvest festival table centre, um, but it's because we've just got so many tomatoes. And one of the things that I'm going to be making this weekend is chilli jam with all of these surplus tomatoes that we're not quite managing to eat in salads. Tomatoes just are the very, very loveliest thing for August and September produce. I mean, you just can't beat a homegrown tomato. It's partly that that um, really unusual scent. Um, I wouldn't call it perfume, but the smell of a tomato leaf when you crush it. And when you're picking them, you just, the whole place and your hands is just full of that extraordinary, slightly acrid, slightly tobacco-y, amazing, amazing smell um, rather than perfume. In terms of varieties, if I was to grow just one tomato, I think it would have to be sun gold. It's like a it's like a sugar bomb. It's got a very thin skin. It does really well in everybody's taste trials. It always is um, supremely high flying, and um, it, it's really easy. It's really prolific. Uh, it's just an absolute winner tomato with this beautiful sort of sunny golden skin. So sun gold would be my number one, and then. Probably number two for me as a salad tomato would be this really strange one, which my children always used to say was the colour of a bruise, which rather put them off. Uh, and actually, sometimes when you cut into it, this is called black crim. It's from the Crimea. It has almost black jelly inside it, which is quite odd, but it's so deliciously tasty. Sliced in a salad, um, it keeps a really good texture and it has an absolute burst in your mouth, incredible tomato flavour. So those two uh, for me would be all round everything tomato, an absolutely brilliant salad tomato, which is very good cooked too. This strange tomato is such a beauty, really. Um, a middle-sized um, shape and size, um, and, and sort of very uniform, incredibly shiny. And the thing that's bizarre about them is that they have this blue uh, sort of apex, and then when they're ripe, um, the bottom goes red. Uh, never quite as intensely red as a, as a normal tomato. But this is called indigo rose, and you can see why, indigo and rose. And it has a double dose of antioxidants. It has got the anthocyanin of blueberries, which is really good for brain health, and the lycopene of tomatoes, which is a really good anti-cancer antioxidant. So they're tasty, they're prolific, they're good raw, they're good cooked. Indigo rose is a really good all-round tomato. Whenever we grow tomatoes here, inside or out, but particularly in a greenhouse, you can get a problem with whitefly. And uh, particularly if you put cucumbers and tomatoes near each other, they seem to draw whitefly in even more. We don't use chemicals here. We use biological control with things like the Encarsia wasp, which gets sent through the post. But most importantly of all for us, we use companion plants. And my favourite um, of the flowering varieties are the Tagetes family. And my favourite of that family is Linnaeus, which is this beautiful crimson mahogany variety, single flowers, quite elegant, elegant enough to be a cut flower. And a lot of the Tagetes are a bit sort of dumpy and a bit heavy headed. I always think of them like a Shetland pony with too many rosettes. The proportion is not quite right, but Linnaeus is elegant and dignified, so I really recommend it, and it's brilliant at protecting against whitefly. And then all the basils, any of the basils, are brilliant protectant against um, any of the aphid infestation. And in fact, you'll, you'll see that if you go to Greece, You'll never um, see basil used in cooking in Greece. You'll use, they'll use oregano, they'll use parsley, they'll use lots of different things, but not basil, because they think of it as an insecticide. And when you sit outside on a Greek summer's night, there is often a little tin 
of a growing basil plant in the middle of the table. It's often Greek bush basil, that very neat domey one. But that is because they, it is a very, very effective um, insecticide and keeps the mosquitoes away. And so if you underplant your tomatoes or your aubergines or your peppers or your chilies with a good raft um, at ground level of any of the basils, then you don't need to use chemicals. Cherry tomatoes are really lovely things to grow. And if you don't have a greenhouse, they're probably the safest ones because they're easy to ripen in our lower light levels and they get their sweetness um, more easily without so much sunlight. So a classic red cherry that's done well in our trials here is a variety called Santonio. And uh, it seems to do well inside or out with us. And so that's a really good red cherry. And then Sun Gold remains my tip top favorite tomato, probably a really good all rounder. And then this one, which is chocolate cherry, is, is quite an interesting variety. And what you'll find is quite a lot of the modern varieties are moving over to having this sort of strange coloring, um, slightly brown, slightly chocolatey. And so um, they are uh, super healthy. So double, double dose of antioxidants and healthiness. And interestingly, on the health front, you always get more out of your lycopene absorption and so more nutrition if actually they're cooked and cooked with a little bit of oil um, and that helps you absorb um, the antioxidants. So they're wonderful in a salad, but always use olive oil. But in fact, for real maximum nutrition, um, cook them in a sauce. If I was to add another one and I had room for three, I would probably go for Gardener's Delight. There's been, it's a small cherry. You can see a small red cherry, uh, slightly bigger than a cherry normally. Um, and uh, this, there's been so much breeding of varieties that are meant to be better than Gardener's Delight. But whenever we've trialled them, all the daughters of Gardener's Delight just aren't as good. The flavour's not as good. Um, the productivity's not as good. And um, so me, for me, this is, still remains an absolute winner.